my dear children in this video we will have a look at the remaining portion of the exercises of lesson lesson number one the first two exercises fill in the blanks and answer to the questions have already been provided to you in the form of notes sent to you in your whatsapp group so today we will start with the vocabulary section so here we go certain adjectives go with certain nouns for example we say high shelf and not tall shelf similarly we say strong coffee not powerful coffee loud music not strong music kuch adjectives hota hai jo kuch hi nouns ke sath mein jata hai ya usko use karne mein अच्छा लगता है या बोलने में अच्छा लगता है कोई भी एजेक्टिव को किसी भी नॉन के साथ में हम लोग यूज़ नहीं कर सकते हैं तो बेसिंग ऑन डेथ वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस टू एक्सरसाइजेस ए टिक राइट टू नॉन्स इन ईच रो डेथ आर यूज विद द एजेक्टिव गिवन बिलो यू सी adjectives are on this side and here there are three nouns we have to tick right the nouns that are used with the adjectives given on this side you see let us see heavy we say heavy rain heavy traffic but we don't say heavy road next we say long journey long life we don't say long traffic three we say wide gap we or we say wide variety but we don't say wide work number four we say quick meal or we say quick shower we don't say quick life similarly exercise we fill in the blanks with the correct adjectives choose words from the brackets so for every blank there are two options given inside the bracket we have to choose the correct one and fill in the blanks number 1 children should eat healthy food and do regular or wide exercise to remain healthy and fit so we don't say wide exercise we say regular exercise so here we will use the uh, adjective regular number 2 india is a vast country with a rich culture we don't say big culture we say rich culture so rich is correct here number 3 let us book our tickets for the shatabdi express it is a fast train so we don't say quick train number 4 i have a strong feeling that ramu is hiding something from us so strong is correct here number 5 we didn't enjoy our meal last night as the restaurant gave us a very poor service so service uh, service uh, service takes poor uh, the adjective and not severe then number 6 prabhuj uh, prabhjot is tired she had a hard day at school so we don't say low day but we use hard day at school now under phonics section we will read about ai sound phonics is a method of reading based on the sounds that letters represent so here is a Uh, box under which there are uh, a few words given so we will first try to read these words paid fail chain gate main stain waste faint do you notice anything common in these words the words are spelled with ai when you say the words the ai sound is long so what is the common thing in all of these words it is the ai so they are every word carries the spelling ai so this is the common thing about these words and they are when we uh, pronounce these words it is pronounced little bit long like paid fail 
chain, gate, main, stain, waist, friend. So now, now listen and repeat the story below. Can you spot some more AI words in the story? Circle them. There are 10 in all. So here is that there is a small paragraph. We will try to find out words having AI spelling in them. So let us start. Once a snail, you see here, snail. A snail, AI sound is that. A snail without the tail. Again, in tail, we have AI spelling. Was wandering in a forest. His only M. You see M, AI. Was to sail. AI through the river in front of him to reach the plain area again AI plain suddenly it started to rain again AI the snail we have already done with this the snail thought I must wait AI under a shed after the rain stopped he tried to cross the river it took him long to reach the other side but he was finally able to manage it manage with a little effort and strain again ai the snail understood that there is no gain without pain so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so in all there are ten words having the common spelling AI study skills tick write the correct spellings in each pair so uh, against every serial number there are two words so we have to tick write the correct spelling which is the correct spelling among the two words so number one A Bonnet, B O N N E T. Bonnet is correct, or B O N E T. N E T is correct. So here the correct spelling is B O N N E T. Two woodpecker and woodpecker. So here, this is the correct spelling. Plums, P L U M S is the correct spelling. Dog, D O U G H is the correct spelling. Stretched, S T R. E T C H E D is the correct spelling. Chimney A C H I M N E Y it is the correct spelling. So now next it is an exercise uh, on four types of sentences so about which I have already told you in a, a video class and I have also sent you the uh, notes uh, uh, notes of the topic on four types of sentences so now let us see what the exercise says a write whether the following sentences are declarative interrogative imperative or exclamatory sentences let us see number one where is my bag so this is a sentence asking question so this is an interrogative sentence two please pass me the salt so this is a sentence making a request so it is an imperative sentence number three i love watching cartoons so here you are making a declaration you are declaring something that you love watching cartoons so this is a declarative sentence number four oh the weather is beautiful so here you are expressing some kind of surprise or wonder so it is an exclamatory sentence go and get me a glass of water so this is an, an again an imperative sentence because you are giving passing an order giving an order new delhi is the capital of india so here you are making a statement or you are declaring that delhi new delhi is the capital of india so this is a declarative sentence so about the negative sentence also i have told you now b here is an exercise on the topic subject and predicate of a sentence so i have already explained you uh, about the subject and predicate of a sentence in a video and i have even uh, sent you the notes on subject and predicate now 
let us try to solve the exercise here on the topic subject and predicate of a sentence underline the subject we have to underline the subject and circle the predicate in the following sentences so here there are six sentences what we have to do is we have to underline the subject and circle the predicate number one the students so in this sentence we are talking about the students so the student becomes the subject are going on a picnic so this is what he said about the students so it becomes the predicate number two a pink umbrella subject was found on the road predicate the spider subject spins a web predicate four we subject planted saplings on environment day predicate five mother subject both fresh vegetables predicate six the street dogs subject kept barking throughout the night through the night predicate exercise c match the questions in column a with their correct answers in column b so in under column a there are some questions and their answers are given under column b we have to match the questions with the answers so let us see number one did you eat breakfast the answer is no i didn't eat breakfast as i was in a hurry number two why is neeraj sad why is neeraj sad he is sad as his favorite toy is lost. Where are they going for a holiday? They are going to Shimla. When do Vani and Lakshmi go to tennis classes? They go to tennis classes twice a week. What is your friend's name? My friend's name is Pinky. Does your aunt teach music? Yes, my aunt teaches music. Who taught you to cycle? My father taught me to cycle. When does your swimming class end? My class ends at 6 p.m. Now under the grammar activity, a few sentences, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they have been bifurcated or they have been separate in, separated into two parts. We have to join the separated parts of the sentence and match you see on this side the beginning of the sentence is given and on the other side ending of the sentence is given we have to join the sentence and make it a complete one you see number one madhurima and her aunt wept went shopping madhurima and her aunt went shopping the river has dried up those candies are sticky your bag and suitcase are in the living room my father bought me a new school bag now in the writing section the old woman becomes a bird you know the story about the woman the old woman who became a bird called woodpecker imagine you have also become a bird or an animal choose a bird or an animal from those given below and describe yourself in a short paragraph a crow a cat a tiger a peacock use the following points to help you how you look what you do where you live who are your friends are you happy so you know the story of the old woman the little and the greedy old woman who became a woodpecker so basing on the story you have to uh, imagine that you have also become a bird or an animal and you have to write at least a paragraph on yourself basing on these points how you look what you do where you live who are your friends and are you happy so you have to choose any one from these birds or animals a crow a cat a tiger or a peacock and you have to describe yourself in a paragraph so this you uh, have to do yourself 
anyway i will be supplying you and uh, supplying you with a sample basing on that you have to write your own paragraph